January of 2014, over the course of two days, we captured 61 bighorn off of Elephant Mountain WMA, and then we translocated them to the Sierra Vieja mountain range along the Texas and Chihuahua-Mexico border. This served as a dual purpose translocation and capture. Not only did it help alleviate pressure and browsing competition from the sheep at Elephant Mountain, but it also is part of a restoration effort for the sheep throughout the Trans-Pecos area. And this is just another piece of the puzzle so we can connect the surviving populations. We just had a ram brought in uh, from the helicopter. It uh, was blindfolded and ho hobbled by the helicopter crew and dropped off uh, at a staging area. And now it was uh, carefully carried over here by a crew in which it was unhobbled so the legs were unbanded and they put it in a special gurney for the leg holds. It is then put on the stand in which it's able to be looked at uh, by this crew of veterinarians and other uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife and research staff. What they're uh, doing uh, right now is taking blood samples. It's going to be sent off for different protein analysis and other tests they may run on it. We also get uh, biological samples, so fecal, hair, uh, nasal swabs, and look for parasites in the ears, such as uh, ticks and other things. These collars are GPS collars stored on board and what it means is that it's going to record all the data in here and once the collar falls off in 25 months, which is what we program it for, we're going to be able to retrieve the collar and get all the data from it. While all this is being done, uh, a rectal thermometer is being used to monitor temperature. Uh, I know we don't want the, any of the sheep to get overheated. If so, we immediately put them in the trailer. But uh, as long as they stay basically below 105 or 106 degrees, uh, they're, they're at a good, safe temperature for us to work with. The ewes are put into a trailer with kind of, they just so happen to be kind of divided up into compartments. They're not as worried about them hurting themselves. They kind of want them in tighter space so they don't run around and potentially hit but the rams are put into smaller either boxes or compartments and maybe at a max of two per box. Uh, they, can't, they usually don't put them with the ewes unless it's a very young ram in case of uh, fighting or injuries. And then when they release them, they try to get all the ewes to run out at once. And then the rams, they'll uh, open up the box individually and run out. Uh, but more for the human safety, but also they try to do it close together so all the sheep can somewhat be released at the same time and get together and start running around searching the new, their new home together. Thank you.